What's up guys? Today I'm bringing you a video on chain pickerel. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna eat it, and we're gonna see how it is. They're a close relative of the pike, and I know people eat pike. So, let's see how it works out. All right guys, so we're here with our chain pickerel. He's kind of still alive, he's kind of gulping, but he's been out of water for about 45 minutes, so I don't understand. I guess these guys survive a long time out of water, so that's what the chain pickerel looks like. He got some teeth in there. As you can see, he is a little bit alive. I can feel his muscles contracting. So I'm just gonna go behind his head and uh, kill him. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. Gotta go throw it in my neighbor's yard. All right, so I cut off the head, I threw it in my neighbor's yard, and I watched a YouTube video on how to fillet these because I've never seen anybody fillet them before. And apparently they got a ton of bones in them. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to find a way around these bones. And uh, here's one cool thing. He uh, has a little scar. He was probably hit when he was younger. So that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna fillet him out and see how it works. Um, Still some guts in there. Oh well. Alrighty, so from what I see so far from this fish, it's pretty white, so probably will taste good. All right, so this is the finished product. The meat actually looks really good, um, but I can feel a lot of the bones in here. Uh, apparently there's a way you can take them out, so I just watched a YouTube video on how to do it, and I think I'm gonna try that. So, probably gonna edit all of this out, but, because it's probably gonna take me a little while and I'm going to butcher all of these, I mean, not butcher in a good way, but I'm going to mess the heck up out of these fish. So, probably edit all this out. All right guys, so this is the finished product. The meat is extremely white. It looks delicious. I have no doubt in my mind that this is gonna taste good. The only thing is, is when I was cleaning them, I noticed how bony they were. They were so bony. And I had to look online on how to clean them to make to take the bones out. And this is my sad excuse for a uh, attempt at it. These are still full of bones. I kind of just gave up and uh, just kind of threw everything together. So I'm gonna pan fry these, uh, not on any breading or anything, hit it with some Old Bay seasoning. That piece is probably the most boneless out of any of them. There's still some bones right along here, but yeah, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that this is gonna taste good. It's just gonna be kind of weird picking out all the bones. So let's see how it goes. Let's check if the oil's ready. I already hear it sizzle, oh my God. Oh my God, Jesus. Maybe a little bit of warning first. Jesus Christ. I need to turn the heat down. That was just from freaking salt and pepper landing in there, dude. God, dude. I got the oil way too hot, bro. Alright, well, I'm going to cook it and see how it picks out. Alright, guys, we're back where we started. And I cooked up the chain pickerel just with some salt and pepper and some olive oil right here. Uh, and they came out pretty good. They're firm looking, firm looking meat while they're flaky. As you can see right there, they're still really hot. And um, there is a ton of bones in these because I'm an idiot and I don't know how to clean them. So hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm going to take a bite. Oh yeah, a lot of bones. That's honestly really good. That's why they call them Y bones, as you can see right there. Little two uh, sticks coming out of it, like a little crossbow or whatever they call slingshot. 
so here's another one these are the, if you know how to clean them right you can uh, take them out but I'm a retard so I didn't I think you could probably eat them without them being really too big of a deal I'm gonna try to eat it this time Yeah, that's fine. You can eat these little bones, but as you go, you can pull them out. That's delicious. Way better than bass. A uh, little bit firm. It's firm like bass. It's not too flaky like crappy or uh, brim, but it's still pretty good. Uh, I'd rate this probably a 8 out of 10. It's really good. Really flaky, really white. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. I'm just going to have to pick out all these bones as I go. So thanks for watching the video. I know it was really crappy. Uh, but please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.